Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we'll talk about what is sniffer, what are the different types of sniffer attacks, uh, how can you detect them, how can you detect any sniffing uh, which is ongoing in your network environment. So we'll discuss various sniffing tools also. See, in simple words, to sniff a network is to, uh, as simple as hack all the data packets traveling in that network. So in system hacking, sniffing attack is one of the DOS attack that works by capturing the packets sent or sent or received over a network. Yeah. So what does sniffing? So as I said, sniffing, it is uh, the act of monitoring network traffic. So this uh, can be accomplished by various softwares that records all the data packets that pass through a specific network or uh, that's passed through a specific hardware uh, designed for this purpose. So what is this sniffing attack? So uh, an attacker, what happens, what he does is he conducts this attack when he or she uh, he uses is something called as packet sniffer to intercept and read sensitive data that is passed over the network. So in order to take control of the target environment or to, in order to take control of the target computer or any other devices, attackers may use sniffing attack uh, or they may use as simple as packet sniffers to insert malicious code. And uh, they can just take control over the system. So we have different types of sniffing. The first one is passive sniffing. So in spas, uh, passive sniffing attack, what happens is the attacker just watches the traffic going through a network without doing anything else. So we'll perform passive attack when we want to gather information about the target on a network and we want to know what kind of data they are sending, such as login credentials, email messages, like that. Then comes active sniffing. So in active sniffings, this includes uh, what we'll do is we, we are actively present inside the network. So we will use something called as address memory or CAM table, which sends legitimate traffic to other ports. So what happens here is that uh, the hacker or the attacker can watch what's going on uh, over the traffic or the switches traffic. It can also actively uh, perform DNS poisoning or MAC flooding or max spoofing attacks also. So some of the uh, common sniffing tools, uh, we have Wireshark, uh, Betacap, Etacap, TCP dump, Wind dump. So Betacap is one of the powerful tools, which is flexible portable tool that can be used to perform different types of man in the middle attack. Or it can, it can also change HTTP or HTTP has or even TCP traffic in real time, sniff for credentials and do much more. Then TCP dump. So TCP dump is also a well-known packet analyzer that can be run from co uh, command line. So with the help of this TCP dump, you can intercept and look at TCP or IP packets or other packets as they travel over the network. Yeah, so detecting sniffing attacks. So it is important to identify uh, who is performing sniffing on our network. So to find out if there is any sniffer on our network, lo uh, to look out uh, any kind of attack being happened, it is important. So we have several techniques or several uh, ways to identify this. For example, if there is some strange traffic in can any kind of transmission, that doesn't make sense like phone calls you don't recognize or strange file transfer bulk file transfers then there is a chance of sniffing attack happening uh, or you for example if you don't have the right firewall a dedicated firewall that is not shared with other networks on your organization can be one way uh, to protect against sniffing attack or you can use intrusion detection systems for, for uh, identifying any suspicious or malicious activity and general things like you need to have regular uh, audits and security checkups to avoid sniffing attempts. Yeah, so with this, 
you know what are what sniffing is what are the different forms and how they can be found yeah that's all for this video thank you